Blue Planet Inventory has a unique set of capabilities to make the dynamic planning of a 5G network simple and efficient. Multi-domain federation pulls together data into a single model. A flexible user interface represents the whole network in a single pane. An advanced data model covers all aspects of the 5G network and an efficient automation framework drives network planning and operations. A natural first example for dynamic planning is 5G non-standalone architecture, NSA. A 5G non-standalone architecture is deployed by extending an existing LTE network. A typical scenario would be firstly identifying an existing LTE site to upgrade to support 5G NSA. This is followed by upgrading an LTE node B to enable dual connectivity and become a master node then expanding the backhaul capacity to support 5G bandwidth requirements, then creating and assigning a 5G node B as a secondary node to the LTE master node, and finally rolling out the 5G node B to the network. Once rollout is complete, 5G services are available to compatible user equipment. Network operators often have multiple domain-specific inventory systems for different parts of the network, such as core, backhaul and wireless. Blue Planet Inventory simplifies the transition from LTE to 5G non-standalone architecture by federating existing inventory and providing a single network planning capability. In this example, core, backhaul and wireless network inventory have been federated and overlaid onto a geographical map. The user can control the level of detail on the screen by using the layer controls. By further federating cell site consumption data into the network map, the user can see where the data capacity of the existing LTE network is being heavily consumed and may be targeted for 5G rollout. Using the Properties Inspector, the user can quickly identify the LTE node B in the area of high consumption and check if it's ready for 5G NSA by verifying its dual connectivity status, currently set to not enabled. One important network planning capability of Blue Planet Inventory is the ability to create sophisticated network diagrams the ring and spur diagram is an example where an entire primary ring network and its connected spurs are displayed in a schematic layout. The user can pan across the network and zoom to specific areas or devices. This diagram can also be exported for use in other engineering tools. This part of the ring and spur diagram shows a cluster of radio base stations connected to a backhaul router, which is in turn connected into the primary ring. An essential prerequisite for 5G NSA rollout is enabling dual connectivity support in the LTE network. The red box on the diagram shows the user has selected an existing enhanced LTE node B. Every object on the UI has a context sensitive menu with specific actions available for the object type. An enhanced LTE node B is part of a group of similar device types referred to as radio base stations. For this E node B, the user enables dual connectivity and sets the connective role to master. These settings are applied to the planned inventory as part of a project and the user is given an acknowledgement of the change. The planned changes can be rolled out to the network using Blue Planet Multi-Domain Service Orchestration, MDSO, or similar capability. Blue Planet Inventory Integrated Reports provide key summary data. The RBS Assignment Rollout Report gives the user an overview of the dual connectivity status for this ring. The increased bandwidth requirements for 5G will require expansion of the backhaul and core networks. In this scenario, a 10G router is added to the backhaul. Blue Planet Inventory Network Planner can support any level of complexity to modernize and upgrade the network, including device rehoming, ring expansion, link aggregation, VLAN reassignment, and IP subnet management. To support the new 5G node B, a new high capacity backhaul connection needs to be created. This requires a new device at the same location as the existing LTE backhaul device, but with a 10G connection into the core. The context menu allows the user to select an option to create a new router at this location. The location for the 5G backhaul device is already pre-populated to be the same as the existing LTE backhaul device. The user selects the role A1 and the device type for the new 5G backhaul device. Blue Planet Inventory restricts the available device types to those applicable for the A1 role. These settings are applied to the planned inventory as part of a project and the user is given an acknowledgement of the newly created device. Now we connect the new A1 device to the main ring network. This is achieved by firstly searching for the device and initiating a create connection task. 
In this case, the user runs a partial match search on the first part of the device name, which returns both the existing A1 router and the newly created router. For the newly created router, the Create Connection task is launched from the Contacts menu. The backhaul bandwidth defaults to the highest supported by the device. To connect the device, the connection routing is completed by first selecting the AN device card and port, and then the ZN details. Selecting the AN device card and port is performed from contact sensitive drop down menus. The ZN device card and port details are filled in in a similar way to the AN. The planned connection is then committed in the Blue Planet inventory by selecting Create. An acknowledgement dialog is displayed to confirm the planned connection was successfully created. When we see a refresh of the ring and spur diagram, this shows the new A1 router. Once LTE dual connectivity has been established and the core capacity is expanded, the rollout of 5G NSA can be planned. To assign a new 5G node B, the user selects Create RBS Assignment from the context menu for the master E node B. Radio Base Station Assignment, RBS, can cover several service type cases. The user selects the service type to be assigned from the dropdown. Blue Planet Inventory restricts the devices available to those certified by the network operator for 5G non-standalone rollout. The user selects an Ericsson 6318 as the 5G node B type from the dropdown. For a 5G non-standalone deployment, the user identifies this node B as a secondary node for the cell. The remaining values are auto-populated and the user completes the assignment by selecting Apply. After the new 5G node B is assigned, the process is completed by selecting RBS rollout from the context menu. Data is pre-populated here based on the assigned RBSs for this location. In this case, there is only one RBS, the new 5G node B. The tie-in details define how the new GNB is connected to the backhaul network and are filled in from dropdowns. The recently created A1 device is selected. Other details such as the tie-in ports and plug-in cards are selected using similar dropdowns. The rollout is then completed by selecting Apply. When we see a refresh of the ring and spur diagram, we see the new 5G node B. We now right click on this to launch the connection routing diagram. The connection routing diagram shows the user plane traffic is via the new A1 router, whilst the control plane traffic is via the master ENB. The diagram summarizes the physical layer 1 and the logical layers 2 and 3 connections for the GNB, as well as VLAN numbers. IP addresses and IP ranges. All of these resources have been created in the planned inventory using the Blue Planet Inventory Automation Framework. The connection routing diagram can also be exported to PDF, PNG and SVG for use in engineering documents.